If you want to participate in Inktober, but are intimidated by the time commitment, I invite you to try this approach. Pick a prompt or two that resonate for you and expand on that idea. If you're like me, you love challenges like this. Since my channel is all about flowers, I was having a hard time tying in this year's prompts. I was literally Googling things like rhinoceros flowers. One of the prompts is rhinoceros. I'll put them up on the screen here. So I decided to choose a prompt that I thought would be fun with florals. I went through almost the entire list and then I saw Jumbo and I thought it would be so much fun to draw massive flowers. So in this video, I'm experimenting with three different takes on the prompt, ranging from easy to more complex. I'd love for this to inspire you to jump into the Inktober challenge as well. Choose a prompt that sounds fun to you and adjust it to fit your style and start sketching. The beauty of Inktober is that it's really all about fostering creativity and having fun. I'll put a link in the description to the official website so that if you're hearing about it for the first time, you can check it out and get all the details. And if you do all 31 days, I am super impressed and please let me know. If you are wanting to scale it to be a little bit more manageable, instead of doing all 31 days, you can just choose the one prompt to expand on. And you can keep this really simple with just ink and your sketchbook. For today's sketch, I'm using three different Micron pens. You'll see me rotate through them in the video. And I'm also using a black Ohuhu marker. That's an alcohol marker, and I use it on the very last sketch. I've linked my exact supplies from this video in the description. And if you decide to add color later, that's an option as well. These pens, the Micron pens, are waterproof, so they're perfect for pairing with watercolors. If you're using a mixed media sketchbook, that could be a really fun option. Let me know your opinion in the comments. Are you going to focus on ink only or would you also add color? Because as I was doing this, I'm seriously tempted to add color to these and I'm kind of torn if I should just leave them black and white or come back in with either marker or colored pencil, who knows, TBD. We'll focus on the black and white in this particular video, but um, it's very tempting to turn these into a personalized coloring page. I think you'll find as you work through your prompt that you'll come up with new ideas that you had never even expected. Like this border that I'm putting on here reminds me of 80s artwork. Do you know what I'm talking about? Those black borders that used to be around everything and they tend to be in like hotel art or office art. Anyway, okay, back to the challenge. So if you decide to participate in Inktober, let me know which prompt is your favorite. It's really fascinating to see how people put their own spin on this from year to year. People are so creative. Like if you search the hashtag Inktober, you'll see so many ideas to get you started and all levels are welcome. I took this one prompt and turned it into three different sketches. But to simplify it even further, you could just do one sketch based on your favorite prompt and leave it at that. It can be as simple or as complex as you want it to be. Really, the idea is to keep it fun and help foster your creativity. So if at any point you feel like it's getting to be like too much pressure or it's stressing you out, just step away for a little bit and then come back to it when you're feeling re-inspired. This is the third sketch that I did, and I wanted to have Bloom's really large dramatic flowers all over the whole page. I used all four of the markers here, so you'll see me use all three Micron pens. Here I'm using the brush tip pen, and it's almost like a calligraphy pen. I'm sure some people use it like that. It's not one that I use super often, so this challenge is great for getting you to make use of supplies that you might not reach for super often. We are definitely making a good use of the prompt jumbo here. These are huge and so much fun. And even though Inktober is about using black ink, you can still get a lot of variety with the different points on your markers and your pens. And that's exactly what I start doing here. So I'm using the Ohuhu marker the brush tip to fill in the background of some of these areas and really make it dramatic and make it pop. 
I would love to know what questions and challenges you're facing with your sketchbook practice in general. My channel is all about making creativity more accessible and enjoyable, and I love hearing from you. Also, let me know if you have any other favorite challenges throughout the year, because I'm just starting to get into this concept and I'm realizing that there are just tons out there that I haven't heard of before. Like I recently came across Hugh Vember. So if you've done that one, let me know how you liked it. You basically go through the entire color wheel over the course of the month. And can you imagine the amazing drawings that we could get into our sketchbooks with that? So stay tuned because I will definitely delve into that next month. Let's add some more lines to these flowers. This was a lot of fun because there were so many opportunities to experiment with the different directions that the lines were going and use them to show the direction of the petals. And this really turned out pretty dramatic. I'm pretty happy with it. My name is Sarah. Thanks so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit subscribe and join me again for more fun and creative ways to fill your sketchbook with flowers.